Now, you might look at this and um, maybe care less about it. It is not important. But our attention has been drawn to this particular thing I'm going to share with you. I want you to pay attention to the picture and everything that you're looking at. You'll see um, a lady covering a part of her face and by the side of her hair, you'll see, I mean the hair, you'll see some, you know, in between the hair and the hair, you'll see some whitish thing there. That thing, well, you see, it could be used as fashion. And um, also, there are certain um, attachment to it. I mean, those that put it on have reasons. Sarah Martins decided to drop some heavy one, bombshell, as I want to call it. No, we've all said that the family, the Mogalus, were this uh, Judy Austin hails from, they are so diabolic. When I say diabolic, they are the queen of diabolic practices, queen and kings of, and, and, and whatever you can call them, they are so terrible. What I'm about to share with you guys today hmm, will shock you. It will blow your mind. But before we proceed, like and share, tap on the subscribe button, turn on the notification. It's very important. Let us grow this channel together. Cost you nothing. Just tap. On that subscribe button and the notification bell do not miss out on it so that you will get alerts whenever videos are dropped hmm. like i said it is no longer news that the family of judy austin and judy austin herself they are extremely diabolic when i say extremely diabolic they are extremely diabolic and they've pretended and acted like Jesus is my Mary, Mary is my mother, Jesus is my uncle. You know the song, you know the package that uh, Judy Austin likes to put out on social media. And back in those days, when Sarah Martins was the devil's advocate, she said Judy Austin is a prayer warrior. You know there are different types of prayer. Um, some people can be chanting. Some people can be, you know, speaking incantation and they say that they are praying. Now, there is this platform that uh, is called A Good Witch Official. A Good Witch Official. Can you believe that Augusta Mogalu, I don't know if she's married or not, Augusta, sibling to Judy Austin, belongs to this platform. This family, they are full of wickedness on this platform they put out daily witch wisdom you know the kind of wisdom that witches will put out now that they have called they've called themselves a good witch official you should know that wickedness does not present itself as wicked they often want to present themselves as lamb but in words they are wolves ravenous wolves vampires so this update was dropped on our desk and when i perused over it when i looked at it when i checked it i said what like seriously this is truly what we thought about in the past these people belong to the kingdom that kingdom is it the water kingdom is it the one flying you know once you can conquer the hair conquer the water you know what it is it means that uh, you know terrible isn't it not just that alone. She is also following another one. Whispering witch. This same Augusta. Whispering witch. Now this is to all the doubting Thomases who think that most of these things that we put out there are made up. And that it is not true. And that uh, we are only doing all of this to shame Yule Duce or to ridicule. You know, most of... I mean... Let's just say few, because the majority of the people on this platform are intelligent. They know what time it is. They know what we are putting out there. They understand the assignment. They understand the assignment. The assignment is to unravel. Just imagine. So she's part of this. Now, what are you going to say about this one to the doubting Thomases? What are you going to say about this one? Are you going to say that, oh, no, she's just trying to learn 
how they operate and um, learn how things work so that she can know how to pray. Maybe she can maybe develop prayer points. Is that what it is? Is that why she became part of this group? Following them, learning from them how to cast spell, how to create X, H-E-X, hexagram. How to how to tie people's destiny down? How to bewitch people? How to lock people like you let it down? How are we sure that this is not what their mom taught them? All right. What if they are? Well, we've already said it. Maybe they are trying to empower you let in the kingdom. You know, but uh, um, like. What that Ganasia said that these people come from a particular kingdom and specifically Juju Austin. Some of you say, Ah, Juju Austin is a pants. She is this. This she he, he said Judy Austin is from the Marine. And that Judy Austin has been empowered to penetrate. That we are all on an assignment in this world. It's not only your pastor that is on an assignment. Even though you let the says he's a pastor now. That we are all on an assignment. And that assignment. You might be a banker. A doctor. Actor. You are there to fulfill purpose. You are here in this world. To fulfill purpose. You are here. To fulfill purpose. Simply put, it means that anyone can be sent to disrupt, to, to, to take you out of that your purpose in life. Anyone can be sent. So he's saying that, you see, Yule Duche was sent to fulfill purpose. And, you see, he was unable to fulfill this purpose in life because someone else was sent to derail him from that purpose in life. Now he's running Elta Skelter. If you cannot process your inner self, you are not at peace with yourself. You are fighting battles here and there, running here and there. It, of course, you know how it is. It's like a, a ship trying to sail on a road. It means that that ship or that boat is not on the pathway that is supposed to be. It will struggle, it will break, it will crash. That is exactly what Judy Austin came to do in the life of Yule Doche. I don't know what you guys think of this one. No. I'm going to leave it to you guys. There are wise people on this platform. Let them deal with it. Drop it in the comment section. What do you think about this one? See you guys in the next update.